Hey everyone, I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and crafting. Today's October 13th, Wednesday, 2021. This is floss tube number 76. Welcome back everybody. I have a lot to talk to you about and hopefully this will be a little bit of a shorter video because I like to allow some time to show some things that I've bought, some charts, some pretty fabric that I've had the last couple of weeks that I haven't shown. I have a small mini quilting box that I got from the Fat Quarter Shop. If you've ever seen it and been interested in what's inside, I'll show you. I got it yesterday. I have a few questions. I have some upcoming videos to tell you about, and I'll show you what I've been working on. So let's get started. So my videos are always about cross stitch. Sometimes I talk a little bit about crochet. Sometimes I talk a little bit about yarn. I talk about a little bit of quilting. I'm just finally getting back into quilting again. Applique. I love applique. So again, it's always about cross stitch and I'll tell you about new release charts at the end. I have a giveaway, several giveaways at the end of this video and I have a giveaway winner from last time as well. So let's talk about some cross stitching news. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for everyone that bought me a coffee. There's a link down below in the notes where you can click the link if you want to donate to the channel. I've mentioned several times in my past videos that it always goes back to you. It goes back to the viewers in forms of giveaways and you never have to pay for shipping for giveaways. I pay for that. So thank you again, everybody that's donated. I really appreciate that. Other bits of news, which I failed to mention on my last video, which I should have put number one on my list is Colorado Cross Stitcher. If you guys know Sherry, she is a YouTuber as well. She's wonderful. I'm hoping to get to meet her in November. My husband and I are hoping to do a road trip. We're going out to visit some cross stitch shops or I'm going, he might go play golf that day, but <laughs> I'll be going looking for cross stitching shops. And on my way, I'm hoping to meet Sherry. I'm going to get a hold of her. My husband's currently on a golf trip in Oregon for five days. He comes back tomorrow. So once he gets back, we're going to lay out the road trip, figure out what shops I'm going to go to and what days. So I'm hoping to get to see Colorado Cross Stitcher. Now for several years, and I've known about her shop, she's had a yarn shop called the Loopy U for knitting, crocheting, yarn, you name it. She, I think, is a knitter. And I was into knitting as well. And I would hope to get back into it someday. I have stuff planned. <laughs> we'll see if I get to it with all the things I have going at the moment. So, but anyway, Sherry has another cross stitch shop on, or has a new shop online. Now the Loopy U is the loopyu.com. That's for yarn. That's for anybody interested in knitting, crocheting, any kind of um, yarn, you name it. And again, I've known about the shop for years before I ever did YouTube videos, before I ever, back in the day, and I always wanted to go and visit and never got the chance. So anyway, Sherry has now opened an online cross-stitch shop, which is separate from the Loopy U, and it's there for us who cross-stitch that want to just go into the shop and see the online shop and see the goods that she has. She has patterns, she has accessories, she has fabrics, you name it. And she's getting more and more every day. The shop just opened a couple weeks ago. And the great thing is she also has an actual shop you can visit in Fort Collins, Colorado. Half of it cross stitch, half of it yarn, half of it uh, knitting supplies and crochet stuff. So I'm excited because I'm going to be passing through Fort Collins on my way out to, I think it's Montana that we're headed to. And I'm going to stop in the Loopy U. So I need to get a hold of her and hopefully she'll be there that day. I'll take some pictures and post it for you guys when, when I'm on the trip. So anyway, visit her cross stitch shop. Again, loopyu.com is separate. Her new cross stitch shop is coloradocrossstitcher.com. Go visit. She's got some great accessories, threads, patterns, fabrics, you name it. And like I said, she's getting more and more stuff every single day. Again, she is a YouTuber as well, so check her out. I want to tell you guys about a new floss tuber that I just watched. She now has two videos, but check out number one because she shows you like a whip parade, all the things that she's have that she has out working on at the moment, finishes she's done. The very first thing that she shows in video number one is this gorgeous Mirabilia. Her name is Natalie, so check her out. Again, she just uploaded video number two. She is Our Daily Stitches. And when you search on YouTube, I've noticed people have not been able to find it. And I think it's because they're searching separately. Our 
daily stitches needs to be put together all as one word. Our A, I'm sorry, O U R daily stitches. So check out Natalie. She's a lot of fun. Wait till you see her progress. It's incredible. And what I love so much about her video was that she has a variety of things. She works on samplers. She works on small things. She wants to do more small things, I think she said. She has such a variety. Again, Mirabilia. I remember seeing some GGR. I mean, not just samplers, though. So check out everything she has because her progress is just, I don't know how she does it. It's She's an awesome stitcher. So check her out. Um, again, video number two, I think, posted just a couple days ago. People have asked about Black Sampler November. In my Facebook group, I have a group. It's Stitching Space number 911. That's my group. And people have asked in my group, um, can you suggest some Black Samplers? Upcoming, I mentioned in my last video, is November 1st starts Black Sampler November. Now, I talked about it a lot in the last video. It was uh, brought up by Jacob from Modern Folk Embroidery. And it's fabulous because he welcomes other designers. It doesn't have to be modern folk embroidery. It can be long dog sampler. It could be hands across the sea. It could be any sampler in the color black. So if you'd like to join us, I'm going to be participating in Jacob's Stitch Along. The hashtag is Black Sampler November. You can see the progress, everybody's progress, and charts that they've chosen. It doesn't have to be a new start. It can be something that you're currently working on. So I have like three that I'm gonna be uh, taking out and working on. I have an Owl Forest, I have a Scarlet Letter, and I have a Long Dog, my Anzac project. Jacob welcomes something you already have in progress. If you aren't starting something new, bring out something you haven't worked on in a while or something you're currently working on and join everybody's progress. Next week, I'm releasing a video here on YouTube all on black samplers. Now, if you remember last video, I asked for your opinions. I asked for your suggestions on black samplers. And I'm going to film the video probably in about four or five days. So you still have time to get your favorite black samplers into me. Email me at stacer5 at aol.com. I have the email down below. I've gotten some great suggestions and things that I didn't think about that I love. A Marjorie Massey I can think of that someone suggested a Lottie Daw, someone suggested. So stay tuned if you're interested in participating or you just wanna see some black stitching, watch next week's video that I release. It's gonna be a lot of fun, all on black samplers. Oh, let's go back to black samplers. So something Jacob had said, it does not have to be a big giant typical sampler. It doesn't have to be that. It can be small, it can be big, it can be a reproduction, it can be a Quaker, a long dog, a band sampler, you name it. Anything with black thread is what he said. I had a couple people ask me if I would do a Halloween chart parade. Now that sounds like a lot of fun. I've already got a stack going of, of charts that I'll show you guys. It's just going to be Halloween charts, fall charts, and mostly Halloween. And I'm going to show these guys back here all but two... Um, I was able, I ran out, of, ran out of room, so I have two more finishes that I have not been able to put back there because it didn't fit. So what I'm going to do probably next week is to show you each one and who they're by. This one that with the big pumpkin and the black cat happens to be a punch needle. This was my first one that I did. It's called, I can't remember the name of it, but I'll tell you guys next time on the Halloween chart parade, but that was my first one I ever did on black. That was challenging, and out of all of the ones, right there is a ghost. I thought he was most challenging. So I will show Halloween charts. They, you asked for a Halloween chart parade. I'll show you some of my favorites. I had a few questions. Uh, Stitch Lanka, she asked, can you recommend a variegated black thread for Black Sampler September? Now here's what I'm gonna do. I wanna reach out to you guys. Put in the notes down below, or you're welcome to email me, but I'd like for her to be able to see some suggestions for variegated black thread. I have not used any variegated black thread myself. I have seen that Valdani has one. To me, it looks a little bit gray. So I don't know stitching wise and maybe in person if it's a little bit darker, but I wanted to see if you guys could suggest a black variegated thread for her to use on her sampler for November. 
I did see DMC 115, I believe it is, had black variegation. If anybody has experience with that, let me know. Or if you can suggest a thread for her to try that's variegated black, let us know. We'll be watching the notes down below, or the comments, I should say, not the notes. Put it in comments down below, and we'll be watching, because I'd sure like to try that too, and give her some suggestions on some black variegated thread. Next question I had is, what kind of thread was kitted up for Anne Gott? Now, Anne Gott is exclusive through the Attic Needle Workshop in Arizona. Give them a call if you're interested in receiving this one or ordering this one. I got it while I was at summer school. I had called ahead. They had it ready for me. And I want to say they gave me a choice. They kitted me up. Bees Knees is the fabric that they, that they chose by Seraphim. Bees Knees. And then they gave me the silks, the 103 silk spools. Now, I think they asked me, would you prefer cotton or silk? And I chose silk. But on the back of the chart, they have suggestions for Alverswa, silk. They have your choice. Here's the colors for the spools. And here's classic color works. Here's the choices for classic color works. So you do have choices. There's only 14 colors, I believe. So you could use DMC. And really, they're not, like, for instance, red, cranberry, medium blue, dark blue. So they're not that hard to pick some DMCs based on the colors that they're telling you to get. Hazelnut brown, um, medium green, light green, pink, coral. So these are all colors that you might be able to, to find some DMC thread and get them if you prefer DMC. But anyway, this chart, you get it through the Attic Needle Workshop. And the next question, Silgards asked if I have a rotation for my works in progress. No, I wake up every day. I have this, I have my project bags all lined up on this shelf. I look at them and I think, what do I feel like? Do I feel like stitching in red? Do I feel like maybe a Bristol sampler? Do I feel like maybe a very small one, like my animal, I'm working on animals for when there's a month, like say the months of, of June, there's not really a holiday for that I would decorate for June. So what I plan on doing is an animal tree. And right now the only one I have is a raccoon and I have one more. So I'm working on some smalls to put in my tree. So she asked if I have a rotation and nope, I just wake up every day and think, what do I feel like stitching on today? I look at everything lined up and I pick what I feel like. Now I do get kind of addicted to some and I do work on one for several days. Like right now I'm working on Moonlight Sampler by The Blue Flower, which I'll show in a few minutes. I am totally addicted to that right now. I can't put it down. So there are days I definitely work on one project for several, several days. Susan asked, can I show how I take off the DMC and put it on a floss drop? I mentioned before that I had some floss drops made that came out too dark. These are them. They probably look a little better than, it's real dark down here. So I punch a hole down here and I then I put my floss hanging off of my little card. Speaking of cards, I ordered some. So I've got two regular and one Halloween floss drops or cards that you put your DMC. It, it's, it would look like this. It, see my thread hanging there? Right now those are just on rings. Well, I would do the same thing except for everything would be hanging off of a drop or um, not everything, but one color would be hanging off of this business card drop thing. It, it would normally have a hole in it and you put your thread. So she asked if I could show how I put mine on and I will. I'm planning on doing a thread video for beginners. So I will show that how I attach my thread onto the cards in that video for the thread. Um, that's just exclusively, all I'm gonna talk about is thread. Silks, uh, Valdani, uh, over dies. I'm going to talk about DMC. I'll talk about anchor spools, sulky spools, you name it. I'm going to talk about it. That's coming up probably not till maybe November because again, we're going on a road trip for about three weeks and um, I'll do a video, but probably not, probably won't do the thread one until next month. Janet asked, are there any floss tubes or any groups where you can 
request a unicorn chart or a discontinued pattern. The only thing I look for is, of course, eBay. I look on stash. This is a gem, like a hidden. I'm not. It's not hidden, but it's a, it's like a gem that I have found. Lots of discontinued charts on Facebook. It's a group called Cross Stitch. I'm, it's called um, Stash Unload Cross Stitch Only. I'll see if I can put a picture. If I remember, I'll put a picture here. I have found lots of discontinued ones, especially back before Prairie Schooler was printing, reprinting their charts. I found some. I found some other blackbirds I think that were out of print that I that someone was just destashing. So it's like a destash. I would suggest that group. There's also a group on Facebook called Unicorn OOP out of print cross stitch charts. Now I am not a member of it. I happen to see it though, so I don't know anything about it. I don't know how they work. But it's an option. Join the group, see if maybe you can't track down your unicorn chart or your, you know, a discontinued chart that you're looking for. Louise asked, how do I get the Modern Folk Embroidery Spirits of the Dead? That's a new start I'm going to show in a few minutes. You will go to Jacob's website, modernfolkembroidery.com, and it's available as a PDF download. Giveaways. Thanks to Elaine at Galliana Cross Stitch Designs, we had a giveaway last video for a PDF copy of Agatha's Pumpkin. I'm going to show a picture of it here. The winner, thanks for everybody that put in the word pumpkin was your word and I searched pumpkin. The winner is Sally Diem. Congratulations. Get a hold of me through email. I will send you the PDF chart of Agatha's Pumpkin. And I, I hope if you're in my Facebook group, I would love to see your progress. If you do decide to start stitching it soon, we'd love to see your progress on it. Okay, let's talk about what I've been working on. I have had, oh, some, I mean, like two or three new starts. I have a quilt top, but not a quilt top, a quilt block finish and some progress. So let's start. My first new start is on Seraphim Antique Lace. It is 32 count. And it is this chart here, Long Dog Sampler Beauty Spotty. And I saw this when I went to the New Jersey retreat and I just fell in love with the colors. It's got animals, it's got flowers, I loved it. And what's so unique about this spotty sampler is everything is outlined in black. So if you really take a look at it, everything is outlined in black and then you fill in the color. And I've been so fascinated by these type of samplers that I've been on the, oh my gosh, uh, if you're familiar with Marsha from the Scarlet Letter, she's probably thinking, oh my God, this girl orders constantly. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm so excited. I love the Scarlet Letter. I'm just addicted to her to her charts right now. So she's got some just like that where it's a lot of color, a lot of fill in and they're beautiful charts. I'll show those. They did arrive, but I'm going to show that maybe in the next video or the one after. So anyway, this is by Long Dog Sampler Beauty Spotty and I did start this finally on um, yesterday. I woke up early just to start it. Here's my progress. And it's I love the variegation of the color or the modeling of the colors on the fabric. I think it's going to be really pretty. So I started top left. People have asked me what this um, motif is here. This is where I started. It's some kind of a sun, a blue sun with clouds is what I think it is. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me. <laughs> but I think they're clouds behind a, or in front of a, like a blue sun, a star. <laughs> anyway, it's going to look really good. And that's my progress. So this is going to be so fun. I'm going to work on this today, but I love the colors on it. Okay, the next thing that I worked on was the Moonlight Sampler by the, uh, let me find the chart real quick. Blue Flower. I am obsessed with this chart. I cannot put it down. I love it. Now, I could not find the called for fabric, as you guys remember. I used Rent Winter Wren by Fox and the Rabbit. I'm doing it on 40 count. 
This is the one up close with all the animals, the moths, the fox, the skunk, the possum, and I just love it. However, as I was stitching, here's my progress. As I was stitching, about right about the butterfly, I started going down, 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 the vine down below, kept going down, 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 and I thought right about here, I thought, oh my God, I don't have enough fabric. That's the worst feeling. And I will count, I will measure that fabric to death to make sure I have enough. I don't know where I went wrong. The only thing I can think of is I did not measure the actual fabric. I just read what the sticker said on the front. If it was any, it, I don't think it was off by that much, maybe an inch. Now I like to use three inches. It's gonna be hard to show. Three inches here, three inches wide to where I like to start my projects because I like to give lots of room for framing. So I'm working my way down, working my way down, and for some reason the fabric just looked really thin, or uh, short. And I thought, oh, right about here, I thought, oh my God, I'm gonna run out of fabric. So I thought, I, I have to know, I have to know the answer. So I kept working my way down, working my way down. Thankfully, I have plenty of fabric, but I'm glad I didn't have that much more to do. <laughs> Because that's only like maybe two inches. Well, maybe a little bit more, two and a half inches. But so I do have enough fabric because that's the end. And then it starts working its way to the right. So that's my progress. I think it's beautiful. I'm using called for colors except for one. The purple in the middle of the flower is, it was supposed to be number 28 DMC. I am using, I think it's 304. If it's not 304, it's 340. I can't remember what I, let's see, I have it right here. I chose DMC 340, 340. So I think it's coming out really pretty. I love the colors, how they pop on this fabric and it's just beautiful. So that's my progress on the Moonlight Sampler by the Blue Flower. I'm gonna keep working on this as well the rest of October. Again, that's 40 count. Winter Wren, W-R-E-N. The next one is a new start. It is from my friend Krista. She's a designer for Just Stitching Along. She's the one I mentioned on my last video, has a new Etsy shop. So if you're interested in any charts from Just Stitching Along, like Miss Lucy Calcutt 1825, she has a smaller Lucy Calcutt, she has Oh, she has all kinds of charts that I mentioned on my last video. Check out her new Etsy shop. Just Stitching Along on Etsy. This is her new release, TGA Redwork Sampler. I saw this and sometimes there's just a chart that you see that you just fall in love with and this was it. I think this is just gorgeous. I decided it calls for, these are the colors that it calls for. DMC is listed as well. And I decided instead of using two different kinds of reds, I decided to use, it would help if I said this the right way. <laughs> um, I decided to use a variegated silk and I'm using Belsoi silk in cranberry color. Here's my progress. This is on 40 Count Cafe LA. And so far, I think it's really pretty. It's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So this came out, if it wasn't last week, it was the week before. And again, it's called TGA Redwood Red Work Sampler by Just Stitching Along. Check out her Etsy shop. So pretty. So I'm going to continue using the variegations for all the red. And then I'll get the other silks in these other colors uh, soon. Next. The next project I've been working on is a new start I mentioned last week, Modern Folk Embroidery, Spirits of the Dead. I found the perfect linen for it. It is 32 count hazy gray by Fabric Flare. I originally had gotten this piece for another project and it was the cut was too small. This is perfect. So um, I don't have the chart in front of me. I don't think I do. No, I have it on my computer. So I'm gonna show a picture of the chart here. 
Spirits of the Dead by Modern Folk Embroidery. This is a stitch along with Chris Cross Stitch on YouTube. And lots of my viewers are stitching this as well. I'd love to see your progress. You are always more than welcome to email me. I would love to see where you're at on it. But this is my progress. And look at that gray background. Doesn't it look smoky? That's what I like so much about it is that it's smoky. So that's my progress on it. I, I always start top left just because it's my preference. I, I just like that. So again, this is going to be stitched on for sure. Perfect example, Black Sampler November. So I'll continue on this as well. Okay, I think that's all that I've worked on. Oh, let me show you a finish. I am working on this quilt. Now, I told you I'm trying to get back into quilting. And I mentioned block of the month where you get one... Or you, I thought you got one. You get three blocks a month for a particular chart that you've picked or a, a design that you've picked. I have another block of the month that just started. Actually, I haven't received it. I'm going to have to give them a call. And they're a vintage Santa quilt. So anyway, I'm trying to get back into quilting. And I have already finished this block here, the pinwheels. And I've now finished the applique block, which is this block right here. And it looks like this. This was a lot of fun. I love applique, it's my favorite. And so this got finished a couple days ago. In fact, I've got a horrible burn on my arm. <laughs> God, I was reaching for something and the iron got in the way. And I, again, as I've mentioned on Instagram before, I, <laughs> I really need uh, to be a little more careful with that iron, but that's pretty. I really like that. So anyway, I have finished this block. In fact, let's talk about that first block for a minute. Remember I showed you a picture on Instagram and I also showed the actual block here on my YouTube video. Here's a picture of it finished. Let's just put it this way. That quilt block is a victim of a homicide. <laughs> Suspect German Shepherd Max, Max Alexander. He uh, got a hold of my quilt block and this is what it looks like. <laughs> so I found this laying on the floor. I was not happy with that dog. <laughs> this took me all day. These pinwheels are hard and I it took me all day. So anyway, I was able to salvage two of them. I do have to restitch just right here, but I washed it and so <laughs> I washed it for sure. And uh, I was able to save those two. So Stitch in Heaven in Texas. That's who I get my block of the month from. I gave them a call. Would you believe that they said no problem? They laughed and they said no problem. We will send you the material to fix your block. No charge. And we're also not charging you for shipping. How awesome is that? They just put it in the mail that day and I got it within three days. So I can't say enough about Stitch in Heaven I'm going to put their information down below as well. But so anyway, they're sending me block by month by month. Very slowly, I'll be working on more blocks to make this giant, massive quilt. Here's what it looks like. And I think it's a good way for anyone who's getting back into quilting to start slow. Instead of receiving this giant kit with all this fabric and getting confused, block of the month is, I think, the way to go. So anyway this will be fixed. My friend Jean is going to help me and block number two is done. Max is going back to school, uh, obedience school, <laughs> starting on October 25th. And um, wow, he's very, he he's leash training's giving me a hard time. I have to be really, really careful when I take him for a walk because I have to make sure that he doesn't cut in front of me and make me fall. There's been a few times that my husband's even kind of had a hard time with him because he wants to, he squirrels. He sees something, a leaf blows by, a piece of hair flies by and he's like, squirrel, you know, and he just goes crazy. And I have to be so, so careful. You guys know about my all my surgeries and my, um, the new knee and uh, the new um, graft in my legs. So, I just have to be so careful. So I did take him for a walk and I just had to really watch him the whole, I never, I looked down the whole walk to make sure that he wasn't gonna cut in front of me and it was tough, but we did it. And he's a good boy. He's so sweet, 
but he needs some a little bit more education. <laughs> so he's going back October 25th, Monday through Friday. He'll be there all day. And they work with him with leash training, obedience, listening skills. And then November 2nd, we're planning on taking off for our road trip. We have a house sitter coming. She's going to stay at the house. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time. She enjoys being here. She loves having, taking care of the dog. She loves taking care of the cats and the birds and stuff. So anyway, she'll be here. And we're going to go take off and go see some sites. I want to visit Inspired Needle. I'm hoping to see Brenda and Laura. I talked to both of them. We're hoping to meet there. I got to give them dates, though, to make sure they can do it. And a couple other uh, cross-stitch shops along the way. Okay, let's talk about plans coming up. So as far as stitch-alongs, November 1st, Black Sampler September. I'm pulling out all my Black Samplers and I'll be stitching along the month of November. I'm sure I'll stitch on other things as well, but I know that, what's the big one by Scarlet Letter that I have? Uh, Anne Grimshaw 1818 is coming out, which I'll show next time. My Al Forest is coming out. My Anzac by Long Dog Samper. All black stitching, I will have that out as well. January 1st, you may have been watching other YouTube channels where they talk about Brenda and the Serial Starter. Well, the Serial Starter is Laura. It is her birthday on January 1st, and a lot of people are working on the same chart, which I got about two months ago or a month ago, Elizabeth Isles. Now, this chart is pretty. I really like it, but I had not planned on starting it for January 1st. But then I started seeing all the conversions that people are doing for the threads. Vicki Clayton, if you're not familiar with Vicki Clayton, I believe she does silks. She did a conversion for this chart. Leo and Roxy is the one that I think I'm going to get mine from. They are a Canadian, I've talked about them before, a Canadian-based cross-stitch shop online, Leo and Roxy. I'll link them down below. Caroline is really, oh, she's so nice. She emailed me the other day because I told her I was interested in the, the threads that she's offering for this chart. Now, I noticed that hers were a little brighter in color. I like that. Now, some people like the muted colors. And I don't remember who it was that I thought the colors were a little bit more muted, which some people, it's all about preference, what you like. I like bolder colors. I like a little bit brighter. And Caroline has a really pretty blue that looks so good that I think will really pop out that blue in this chart. So I think I will go ahead and start this as well. I also saw, if you guys haven't seen Lindy Stitches video, oh, wow, I don't even think, I printed out her conversion. I don't even know if I could show this. She print, if you go to her website, her website is lindystitches.com. She has a conversion for, if you notice the angels all along the outside of this chart, they're all angels. I'll show it up close. And she made them all look different with different skin tones. That is exactly what I want to do. I don't want my angels looking all the same. I want them to be different. Now I'm going to go ahead and show this picture because she made it available for everybody she listed her colors that she converted, and I think a lot of them are over dyes maybe, but check out her website. It shows what her conversion is. This is exactly what I'm going to do with my angels. I want them to be all different, just like we are in the real world. We are all different. We're all beautiful, and I want my angels to be all different types of um ethnicities, races, everything, you name it. I think this is so, so beautiful. I can't even say it enough. So I got the skin conversions that she listed and that's exactly what I plan on doing with mine as well. So now I'm even more excited to start this on January 1st. The hashtag is Laura's Big Birthday Sal. It is put on by Penelope Tucker on Instagram and she's done an awesome, awesome job of coordinating everything, letting us know who's got thread conversions, keeping us updated. Penelope's done a really great job. Okay, so as far as other plans, I think those are my plans coming up. I've mentioned the videos that are coming up in the next uh, couple weeks before I leave on my vacation. Okay, let's show a little bit of stash that I got. I decided, since I'm back into quilting again, I decided to go to the Fat Quarter Shop. They had a mystery quilting box a mini. And I thought, okay, let's see what that's like. 
a mini might be perfect for me because I am just barely getting back into it again. So I'd like to show you what it looks like. So if you happen to see mini quilting box or anything like this from the Fat Quarter Shop, this is how it arrived. And if you have one ordered and you haven't received it yet, fast forward through this video. Don't let me ruin the surprise. I want you to be surprised when you get your box. So what happens is inside the box, they give you a card. It's got actually several cards that show everything that's inside the box. They sent a quilt pattern called Hocus Pocus. I think that's really pretty. I love the colors. So you get a quilt pattern in the mini box. This I like because I've been on Etsy lately trying to find scissor holders. And they sent a spooky box, glow in the dark, scissor holder. So this is perfect. Look at all my scissors that are just laying here. I can put them in the box. I think that's so, so cute. The box also shows that you can hold, I don't know if you can see this, there it is, the three inch gauge, a corner gauge, four cross stitch. So that's, a, or for quilting, so that's a, a great, this I really liked most of all out of the box. They sent fabric. Look at how much fab you, fabric you get in a mini. And I'll show you, I'll just flip through just real quick and show you the design, the pattern designs in the mini quilt box. So if you're ever interested, maybe they'll have, I don't know if they'll have a Christmas one or not, or a mini quilt box, you know, for the future holidays and stuff, or maybe next year, you get an idea, but you get a good amount of fabric. This little box is the cutest thing that I think I wanna put my spools in, like spools of thread. Here's the inside of the box. And it's magnetic, so it just closes on its own. And last week, or two, two more things. We got a bookmarker. Look at that, isn't that cute? And it's got measurement a measurement a device on the end. So that's a bookmarker that we got. And last but not least, we got a finger thread cutter ring that you can wear as your quilting for cutting your thread. So I thought this box was pretty cool. It was only $30 maybe, or I can't remember if I can, if I remember I'll insert how much it was, but I thought this box was really cute. I will definitely be getting it again. And I love the things that they sent. I even like that quilt pattern. I think that's really pretty and Halloween looking. I, I think I like it. Next, let me show you a few other things. I got a bunch of fabric from Fabrics by Stephanie. And I'm gonna show it to you real quick so you get an idea. Some of them are very, very similar. This one is called Storm. It's really pretty. I almost use this one for the Modern Folk Embroidery Spirits of the Dead, but I think the modeling is a little too much for that. And I didn't wanna take away from the design. This is gorgeous though. This will be perfect for something else, maybe a small. Oh, I love it. Anyway, that's called Storm. Again, Fabrics by Stephanie. This one is called Haunting. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful, that purple? Wow, that's, it's different than the first one. And I just think it's so, so pretty. Haunting. The next one I wanna show is, again, Fabrics by Stephanie. Rhiannon, I don't, I'll show it to you. I don't know how to pronounce that, Rhiannon. And this is pretty, this is similar, but just still a little different. It's got a little bit more pinks in it. And a little bit more browns. Right there is true. I'll show the other side too, because I think this side's got much more pink in it. Oh, it's so pretty. I just think that'd be pretty for a Mirabilia or maybe a Bella Filipina. Anyway. Gorgeous colors. This one was called Rhiannon with an R. So I wanted to show those fabrics. And if you are, let's see here. Oh, I got some floss tags. Let me show you the floss tags I got. I can't remember if I mentioned in the video already that I ordered floss tags. One for Halloween and two other boxes for regular just everyday stitching. So these two came from Laura Duet. She is Brenda and the Serial Starter. She is the Serial Starter. 
These are her two you may have seen on her floss tube. Is this not hilarious? <laughs> I love this so much. You know what I love about these floss tag exchanges? If you're new to the video and you're not sure what this means, when you have a piece of thread that I mentioned earlier, what you do is you punch a hole in the bottom of it and you let your thread hang. So then you get another hole punch, just a small one, and you attach a ring to it. So now you can have all your colors for one project hanging from these cards. And everybody's doing an exchange right now. And these are the two that I just received. I think that I love the style more than anything is that everybody's different. Again, these were the ones that I did and I'm not sending them out because they're too dark. I just think it's kind of ugly. Didn't come out as pretty as I like. The ones that I did that I ordered are square. So they're gonna look more like this. And again, I'm gonna punch a hole in the bottom. I'll punch a hole in the top. You attach it with a ring. And I just think that that is so, such a brilliant idea. Anyway, so everybody's doing an exchange. A bunch of people are participating in an exchange right now. And uh, I got three more stacks from Pat. She's on Instagram. What do I stitch next? Thank you so much, Pat. These are, this is again, what I love is everybody's style is different. They don't have to even show cross stitch pictures. Take this for example. <laughs> it's brilliant. I love how everybody's doing different things. So the first ones that Pat, uh, Pat sent me are this. It's just beautiful from a sampler. Gorgeous. Next, and on the back she put, what do I stitch next? That's her name on Instagram. Aren't these beautiful? And the next one I got was, this made my day. Pat, you made my whole day. Thank you so much for thinking of me to send, send these to this one here. They're just beautiful. And... That's it right now. Let me show you a few other little bits that I've gotten. A few, oh, here's one, Animal Alphabet. I don't think I've shown this from Prairie Schooler. This is a chart that I got. I'm gonna show it up close. It's got animals for all the letters of the alphabet. Uh, animal Alphabet. Oh, here's one that I got that originally was an exclusive, but it's not an, it was not an exclusive a few hours later. <laughs> So I ended up getting the whole exclusive pack, including the bag. The set is amazing. So the Etsy shop, it's from Twin Peak Primitives, but the my friend's name is Diane. She has an Etsy shop and it's for Twin Peak Primitive exclusives. Now here's the bag that she sent. I hate to keep showing my ugly burn, but I don't want you guys to think I <laughs> Wow, Stacy's having problems. She's cutting herself. <laughs> no, I reached across the table and I burned my, my arm on the, the, and it's starting to crack because it's getting dry. Anyway, back to the exclusive. So this was from Twin Peak Primitives. There is a stitch along going on with Cozy Egg, I think is her name on Instagram, and Emily C. She's on Instagram. If you watch her, she's also a YouTuber. They have a stitch along going on. I think this starts soon, like in the next couple of days where they're stitching this chart. And it's just beautiful. It is now available in Twin Peak Primitive Shop as a PDF, I believe. So check out their website. But I decided to get the exclusive when I thought it was an exclusive. We got this awesome thread. Again, you, you put your threads and you hang all your colors from the pumpkin. The name of the shop I want to tell you about is TPP. It's Twin Peak Primitives Limited Exclusives. And her name is Diane. Check out her Etsy shop. She puts together a fantastic, fantastic kit. This is just, everything you get is just really nice. Diane goes through, a, she does, she makes sure everything is wrapped and packaged really nice. So TPP Limited Exclusives is the name of the Etsy shop. Again, she sent a bag of tea. She sent some candy. She sent the floss, the colors for the chart. This is the chart. 
again, it came out the first day as an exclusive, so I jumped on it, and then they released it the next day, so it's not really an exclusive. It's available to everybody. It's just beautiful. So there's the chart. She also sent fabric. Now, I think, as you can see, the fabric shown here might be a little bit, is a little bit lighter, obviously. I think this is going to look really good on this fabric, especially with the colors that they have here. I think that's going to look good. I told her, I want, she asked me, do you want the darker? And I said, yes. And then she sent a pack. There is scissors. Yay, I love scissors. I'm getting to where I love scissors. Look at this needle minder. Is that the cutest thing? This came in the exclusive kit. A pack of a pack of scissors. Let's see. Uh, there's a design on it, but I don't have my glasses. It looks like a cat. I can't make it out right now. And she sent like an old library card. Remember back in the day where you check out a book and you get your name and date, or not your name, but yeah, your name and date punched. She sent just a fun old library card to go with it. So you get all of this in your kit when you follow that Etsy shop. So again, fabric, floss, chart, goodies. I got the scissors, the needle minder, the box, of, the little thing of candy, the thread holder, and the project bag to put it in. Fantastic. So check her out on her Etsy shop. I think that she does a really good, good job. And the ladies at Twin Peak Primitives are just, they're fantastic. Okay, two more charts I'll show. Little House Needleworks October Party. This has been shown. I've never seen anybody stitch it yet. I think I want to be the first. <laughs> I love what it says. October gave a party. The leaves by hundreds came. The chestnuts, oaks, and maples, and leaves of every name. The sunshine spread a carpet, and everything was grand. Miss Weather led the dancing. Professor Wind, the band. I love it. I think that's very cute. Last but not least, I did get uh, Jelly Bean Jubilee by Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. Because I want to start doing some Easter smalls when I put together my Easter tree. New releases. Country Cottage Needlework. They posted yesterday they have Nutcracker Village coming out. Now this is cool for those of us like me who are obsessed with a Nutcracker. She says starting next month is a new series and will be reimagining the characters from the beloved Christmas favorite, the Nutcracker, as shop owners in their own little Nutcracker village. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't believe it. I love the Nutcracker. Information is on her website. It is countrycottageneedleworks.com. She says to contact your shops if you're interested. Okay, let's talk about another new release, The Little Boot. On Etsy is the name of the shop. Put it all together. The Little Boot. Oh, Christmas Tree. Isn't this cute? And next, we have Cottage Garden Sampling Snow in Love. She said, contact your shops if you're interested in this one. So cute. Here's another Etsy shop I am totally obsessed with. I love it. It is called Mama Witch Cross Stitch. Now, when you search it, remember, put it all together as one big word, Mama Witch Cross Stitch. She has some fantastic, unique designs that I love. And I don't know the name of this one, but I love it. How cute is this? Next, we have Marjorie Massey. She came out with four, Quaker Nature 2, and then after that, we have bird sampling. I love Marjorie Massey's designs. They're so pretty. Two more. We have winter blessings. And we also have home. We have a couple more. Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. Inspired by the witch in the Wizard of Oz. I think she's so creepy. I love it. <laughs> That's what I like so much about Halloween. You either like really, really scary, creepy things, or you can have your choice of really cute, like say Tiny Modern, uh, is it Tiny Modernist and Frosted Pumpkin has some really cute Halloween stuff. So you don't have to have it all creepy all the time. I like both. 
Okay, next, Bella Filipina. He never disappoints. His stuff is so beautiful. She is Arya, Elemental Queen of Air. So, so pretty. Okay, before we go, I want to do some giveaways. I have four charts, thanks to two viewers who sent in some charts as a giveaway, and one designer, and the last one is from me. So if you're interested in any of these charts, please make sure you're over 18, because I have to ask your address, and please don't say the word giveaway, don't say the word free. What you're going to do is post in the comments below this video if you're interested in any of these charts, and tell me something you like about fall. Tell me if it's pumpkins, if it's colors, whatever you like. If you have a special fall memory, I'd love to read about it. I read all of your comments. Every time they come in, I read them. They come on my phone. And I thank you guys for making comments. So if you're interested in any four of these charts, just put, I'm going to have a keyword for each chart. Tell me which chart you're interested in. You're more than welcome to put in for more than one chart. So again, don't say the word free. Don't say giveaway in the comments for everybody on the outside to see. I enjoy the colors. I love fall. I enjoy the colors of the pumpkins. I love all the decorations that I'm able to display. I think that's just so fun. I actually keep these out year round. I like looking at them. I don't care that it's Halloween or Christmas. I have Christmas out over here because I stitched them. I enjoy seeing them all the time. It makes me happy. I love walking into my craft room and seeing all the colors and just everything that I've stitched. So anyway, the front of my house right now is lit up in orange. It has lights all around the garage and it's got orange lights. It's got pumpkins out front. It's got skeletons and bats and a creepy guy out there. <laughs> so I love Halloween. I love fall. I like pumpkin cookies. I love the smell. But most of all, more than anything, I love the colder weather. I'm a cold weather girl. I love putting on a jacket and socks and it makes me happy. So first of all, in comments below, tell me what you like about fall. What do you? What are your favorite traditions or what you like about fall? Then tell me which chart you're interested in. I will give you a keyword for the chart. Now say for instance, we'll take uh, one of them has a big pumpkin in it. Say for instance, that's the keyword. If you are commenting and you say, oh, I love pumpkins, but say you're not interested in that chart. If you specifically don't mention, I really like the pumpkin chart, then I'm not going to pick you if that makes sense. Because it tells me you're not interested in stitching it, but you still want to say, oh, I love the smell of pumpkin pie or something like that. I hope that makes sense. So specifically tell me in your comment which chart you'd like to stitch. And of course, make sure you're going to stitch it. Don't just resell it. That would make me sad. And I want these charts to go to good homes to those of you who would stitch it. So chart number one, thank you so much for the viewer that sent me this. It's brand new, Fall Bounty Berry by Erica Michaels. If you're interested in this chart, tell me you're interested in the berry chart. Number two, Trick or Treat by Stitching with the Housewives. This is adorable. I keep wanting to stitch this because I love all the candy corn on the black. I think it's beautiful. I love this chart. So tell me I'm interested in Trick or Treat chart. Next, from Krista Gramer. She is the designer from Just Stitching Along. She sent me this to give to one of you. It is the TGA Redwork Sampler that she just released. This is brand new. I'm going to show it up close. It's so beautiful. If you are interested in this chart, put red sampler. You can just put red sampler and I'll know what you're talking about. And the last one is from me. It's a little wrinkly. I apologize. But when I bought this in New Jersey, it traveled home with me on the plane and got a, like I said, it's in good condition. There's no marks. There's no anything. It is just um, the front page, it got a little bit wrinkly, but if you're interested in stitching this, you are more than welcome to this chart. It is called Beauty Spotty by Long Dog Sampler. What I did is I decided I wanted it on Pattern Keeper. So I purchased it a second time through Long Dog Sampler. The PDF was loaded into my Pattern Keeper. Now I have the chart on my computer and I don't need the paper chart. So I have actually bought this twice. If you're interested in this, put long dog 
just put long dog sampler. So again, tell me what you like about fall. Put berry chart, trick or treat chart, red sampler, or the long dog beauty spotty. And those are your giveaways for this week. Follow me on Instagram. I am 911stitcher, spelled out all in letters. I am on Facebook. My stitching group is stitching, space, and then numbers 911. We'd love to have you. We have Zoom meetups on the weekends where people stitch together. Sometimes I come on. Last couple weeks, I have not been able to have time to get on. But we have Zoom, fun Zoom meetups where people stitch together. They talk and chat. And it's a lot of fun. We have giveaways, we have stitching challenges, sometimes on the weekends with a prize. It's just a great group. So if you're interested in joining Stitching 911, I'll put the link down below. Thanks everybody for joining me today and watch for next week because I'm going to be doing the video on black samplers. It's going to be fun. If you have suggestions for your favorite black sampler that you stitched or that you, you are thinking of stitching, send it to me. Email me and send it to me, send me a picture of it. Thanks everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.